Hello again, Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, another Malifaux video, this time the Cherub. Doing some experimenting here, we'll see if it works. Blood Red 09003. So, inspired by Cupid more than anything else, the Cherub is Lilith's totem and an embodiment of pretty much raw emotional power. So I'm going to be playing around the skin tone, try to get something uh, disturbing again, but also different from what I've done with other models. So this will be something of a prototype for... Okay, I can just switch brushes, that's not working out. Prototype for what I intend to do with the Terror Tots and other Nephilim models as I get to them, when I get to them. Also a prototype for Lord, what I do with Lord Chompy bits later on, and he's coming up. So as I mentioned uh, in Lilith's video, one strategy that you used to be able to do in the first edition with feeding blood to your Nephilim models to make them grow was to take the Terror Tot and then more or less immediately sacrifice it. Can't do that anymore. But uh, second edition, well, second edition acts as a support model, low on damage, but buffs up allies. At least that's the gist of what I remember. I technically do have his third edition card since it's part of the Dead Man's Hand pack, but I haven't looked too closely at it. So, <coughs> excuse me. Alright, let that dry. That's a decent cook. Maybe a little more of the cheek there. A bit too much water. Let's try that again. Okay, let that dry move on a bit. Next. Is this it? No. Leather White 09062. This is going to have a fairly simple color scheme. So, the brush I'm using may not be the most suitable anymore. Peak here. Well, there are two connection points, they're both really small. Alright, this one is just not going to cut for us anymore, so I'll go with something else. And it's wearing the bone. Okay. And one of the biggest areas is the wing. It looks like I missed a piece of the arm, so I'll have to touch that up off camera. Models where I didn't have many good options on connecting it to the base. So, going with the uh, sort of tips here was the best bad choice I had.
bit too much water there, but it'll be okay when I finish up. Okay, that's good. Let that dry, do a few touch-ups to the skin tone, and move on a little bit. Next, Shield Brown 09161. Okay, and I dropped 20 frames in the span of about a second for some reason. I just got to watch that. So I was going to bow. And the planks on the base. Being real careful near the wing. And Woodstain Brown 09160 to finish up the base coats. Going over the mud area, and if it blends into the wood, that's fine in this case. It'll convey a, a, dirt, a dirty look. The town has just been ravaged by angry Nephilim. wet over here, but that's all right. Okay, that's base coats. So once it's dry, I can shade. Let's see if I can pull off what I'm thinking of. Okay, I want to start shading. Uh, all right, learn one zero nine zero six one. This is the fourth or fifth attempt I've made at this clip, but every time so far, my computer has thrown a fit before I can even get this far. So, let's try this again. Got a few ideas to try, thanks to some help from an online uh, gaming group I'm part of that might maybe help with this blurriness issue I've been struggling with so we'll see I need to get a few more things but and you're thinning your paint out when shading with generally one part water to one part paint Darker colors will need two to three parts water for one part paint. Just let it flow. This will go into the recessed areas. Overall, stay on. Or what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, never mind. I've lost my train of thought. Oh boy. I'm not too concerned about the spillover because the shading on the skin will be much darker than this. And besides, I'm going for a disturbing off-color scheme for the flesh anyway, so... At least try to absorb some of it. Alright, well, it's going to have to do. Wait a bit and come back when I can. Next, Woodstain Brown 09160. Make sure I'm not dropping hundreds of frames a second there.
And the board's down here. And let that dry and I can wrap up shading. Okay, time to experiment. Rosy Shadow 09067. near the wing. I don't want to nick that if I can avoid it. that got on the ground. I'll thin that out. And matte black. Thinning this one out with two to three parts water for one part paint. It's nice with me this time. Matte black. But, huh. I got stuck for a bit there. Make sure I'm not dropping hundreds of frames a second. Carefully filling in the eyes. With pure black, with matte black. Just going for dead black eyes again. Now switching to a dry brushing technique. Rosy Highlight 09069. this. 
you know, paint, you know, water straight paint, rubbing most of the excess out on the paper towel. You want to look like there's next to nothing left. And then does the area to be affected. Refresh your paint as necessary. And I just punched my camera accidentally. Oh, that's a nice disturbing skin tone for a disturbing demonic cupid. Cleaning out the switching brushes regularly. Ghost White 09063. Too much uh, paint. This dries very quickly when it's properly done. So. Second shield brown zero nine one six one. I'll do the mud first. Zero nine zero six zero nine one six two, excuse me. And I'm switching brushes freely because you want your brush completely dry for this. The bow and the planks. That's it. Now, more matte black and switching to a flathead brush. That is getting really sticky. And I'm dropping hundreds of frames a second. So, uh, the joys of technical difficulties strike again. So matte black flathead brush. Just need to line the edge of the base, clean it up a bit, and that's going to be it. So I'm being very careful, especially around the wings here. I want to cover up the stray white without touching it. One thing more frustrating than this focus issue I'm having trouble figuring out is my computer decides of its own volition to start having a temper tantrum and dropping frames for no reason I can discern. 
little click is me accidentally conking my camera with the end of my brush. It's nothing to worry about. And that is that. The Malifo Cherub. Continuing this box up in the next video. Until then, I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games, signing out.